I'm Alice Anderson, a member of the selection committee for the New York Film Festival. Welcome. Welcome, gentlemen. Um, I, one of the many things that impresses me about your films is that you have such an amazing sense of the claustrophobia of the family, which we see definitely here and also in The Maid. And I'm wondering if you could talk about what draws you to the sense of domestic horror. Well, personally, I'm from a huge family, so I've experienced the claustrophobia and the horror <laughs> of, uh, yeah, you know, like, because, like, I don't know, I, I feel that uh, relationships within family are just the strongest and the, more, the most raw ones, you know, like, you just allow yourself to be a total asshole, pretty much. Uh, so, um, uh, when everybody's doing that in a big family, it becomes pretty terrifying. You know, when everybody's allowing himself to be themselves with no boundaries at all. Um, so I think that's why, uh, yeah, there's so, um, family relationships for me are so universal and they're so, uh, they're so strong and raw that uh, have become so graphic and stereotypical in a way. That they can represent a whole, you can, with, within one family, you can represent a whole society. You know, just because every member represents something so uh, specific and yet yeah, strong. And, you know, yes. Well, for me, I have a family very small and almost composed of pure women. So I think it's even more dangerous. For me, I have a, a small family. It's almost the opposite situation. My family is made up of almost all women. Horrible situation. I think that part of the Part of the idea of this film was to um, sort of uh, use the, the format of a thriller or, or something that was more like a thriller, um, that more like the, the life of Hitchcock actually than the films of Hitchcock. I think Hitchcock actually was uh, much more afraid of stairs than he was of the international plots. You really tackle old age and its intended problems remarkably well. So honestly and not sentimentalized, was this, um, do you think, as much to do with your script as it was your, <laughs> uh, your, your writing, or, or was it as much the uh, performances of particularly the older actors? Yeah, I mean, if you have a 92-year-old actress, how could you possibly not get um, an old woman's performance. You ask her. <laughs> You're like, just be there. <laughs> and no, but uh, yeah, you know what? We were kind of concerned, especially with the with her um, first signs of Alzheimer or whatever she's passing through mentally. We were concerned because we did we didn't do much much research. We were like, we it was really felt like how and. 92 year old woman would start getting the first signs of Alzheimer and I think we nailed it like I've heard people and well Alzheimer helps because it's just so random the way you know it shows uh, it's just different in every single case that's what I've heard so I mean for, for, for us that was the biggest challenge like just portraying that sickness of mental illnesses on old people in a yeah um, real way, right? Y también creo que yo personalmente estoy obsesionado con el tema de la edad y creo que eh, esta fue una buena oportunidad para para hacer una película al respecto. I also personally am obsessed with the theme of age and I think this is a good opportunity to, to make a film in regards to it. Y mucho, y, y creo que todo estaba en el guión pero es porque Nosotros inventamos la película en la casa de ellos, 
con ellos y muchas de las cosas que se convirtieron en la película son cosas que ellos nos contaron por ejemplo que Bélgica cuando el ascensor se, se, se echa a perder eh, ella no puede salir de, de, del departamento y eso fue la primera vez que nos miramos con Sebastián y dijimos ¿Sí se tiene?